Hi, I'm Caroline Partridge. I am the media director of the CDKL5 Alliance and I am also the chairperson of CDKL5 UK. I'm just talking to you today a little bit about the CDKL5 Alliance website and you can find the CDKL5 Alliance website by visiting www.cdkl5alliance.org. Over the last few months, we've been updating the website to include all our partner organisations that are within the CDKL5 Alliance. Um, I think at last count there was around 17, 18 patient organisations across the world that are represented within the CDKL5 Alliance. We have um, a members section within our website and you can click on each country and you can see information in that particular language, you may be directed to the, that patient organization's website or Facebook page. Um, if no, neither of those available, you will be able to access the holding page, which will have information about the particular organization, contact details, patient details, uh, in some cases, centers of excellence and other medical details, um, but also guides to CDKL5 deficiency, for example. You'll also find on the website the manifesto, which Antonino talked about at the beginning of his, um, his presentation. And the manifesto is, I suppose, like a behaviours framework whereby each member organisation is actually signed up to the CDKL5 Alliance and to the manifesto. We are always looking for other organisations or patients or groups of people that might be on Facebook that, that have their own Facebook group, for example. And I know um, there's one in Sweden, in, in Poland and New Zealand. And we would really like to invite those groups to join the CDKL5 Alliance. If you are interested in joining the CDKL5 Alliance, you can contact Antonino or you can contact me. Um, my details are Carol Ann, Carol, C-A-R-O-L-A-N-N-E, at cdkl5uk.org. And we will be able to send you details of the manifesto and get you signed up on the CDKL5 Alliance website. We're hoping over the next few months to source some funding. Um, we want to uh, totally revamp the CDKL5 Alliance website to make it more user-friendly, more streamlined, but also so that we can host more media events such as the CDKL5 Alliance conference. Um, it would be really good if we could have a regular podcast, for example, uh, but we do need funding for this. So um, we are looking at doing that and expanding our media across all platforms. So that's kind of it for me, really. Um, do get pop along, take a look. You know, you will be accessing these videos from the CDKL5 Alliance website. Um, yeah, stop and have a look. Take care. Thank you.